Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I would be grateful if you took a few moments to listen to the following short safety announcements. On hearing the fire alarm, we would ask everyone to evacuate the building immediately. Please leave in a calm and orderly manner using the exits which are located at the front and the rear of the hall. Then make your way to the assembly point at the front of the physics building located at the car park side of the hall opposite the main building. We would ask you to remain there until instructed otherwise. Please do not attempt to re-enter the building, even if the alarms have been silenced, as this does not always mean the emergency is over. I would also like to take this opportunity to ask you to silence all mobile phones now for the duration of this ceremony. Thank you for your cooperation, and we trust you enjoy your visit to Queen's University. The world is changing at an unprecedented pace. Every industry is embracing change, drawing on a new wealth of insights and tools to advance in today's connected society. At Queen's University, we have a bold ambition to lead the way in the challenges we see ahead. Every day, we touch thousands of lives in our pursuit of excellence. Finding the solutions to real-world issues and inspiring research to have real-world impact. We are protecting the cybersecurity of billions of internet users. We are at the forefront of conflict resolution, making a difference to the lives of children, families and communities across the world. We are working with industry to develop new technologies. We are creating access to safe, nutritious food for a growing population. And we are at the forefront of major medical breakthroughs, making a real impact on people's lives. We give amazing minds a place to do amazing things in a university fit for the 21st century. We are the heartbeat of one of Europe's fastest growing cities in a country where the hospitality, welcome and warmth of our people is legendary. Together, we are meeting the challenges of our time head on developing our students to be the leaders of tomorrow with the confidence and innovation to engage in an ever-evolving global culture. Together, we are shaping a better world. Congratulations on your recent academic achievements and welcome to the Queen's alumni community. As a graduate, you now embark on the next stage of your lifelong connection with this prestigious university. The skills and knowledge that you gained during your degrees are testament to your hard work and the support that you've received from school and faculty staff and of course, your friends and your champions. I hope that you will be inspired by your experience as a student at Queen's and, in time, create your own impact on the world. I have no doubt that each one of you has the potential to achieve greatness no matter where life takes you. You now join a distinguished network of over 200,000 past students of the University who have enhanced and continue to enhance both life in Northern Ireland and much further afield. The impact of graduates can be seen through their contributions to the worlds of business, healthcare, sport, engineering, social justice, and many, many more. Wherever you travel, Queen's will continue to be a part of your journey, sharing in your successes, supporting you through more challenging times, 
and providing networks and opportunities to your advantage. As a graduate, we'll keep you up to date with how you can transform your relationship with Queen's from student from a time to graduate forever. We'll even tell you how you can take advantage of ongoing support from the university's careers, employability and skills team. But we can't share the benefits of your new alumni status with you if we don't know where to find you. If you do nothing else, make sure we can at least keep in touch with you by following the instructions on the screen. Finally, congratulations and good luck on behalf of everyone from the Development and Alumni Relations Office. Please rise to receive the academic procession. Good morning, and a very welcome, warm welcome to this special occasion for graduates and their guests. I declare open this congregation for the conferment of degrees and presentations of diplomas and certificates. Please be seated. Fellow members of the Senate, members of staff, guests, friends, but most important of all, our graduates from the schools of biological sciences, nursing and midwifery, and pharmacy. It is an honor for me to welcome you all here today and to have the opportunity of speaking to you on what is a major milestone in your life, your graduation. As someone who has a personal strong interest in healthcare, I am delighted and privileged to be here with you all today. Shortly, you will step up upon the stage to receive your degrees, taking the final steps in a remarkable journey that began when you became a Queen's University student a few years ago. Much has changed in your life and in the world since you began your studies. You have studied through a time of unprecedented change and challenge on a global scale. Our university has evolved including our campus and the teaching environment. The opening of One Ellenwood, our new student center and students union, just a few months ago, marked a new chapter for Queen's and was a significant investment in improving the student experience. But most importantly, you have changed. You're a different person to the younger version of you 
that walked through the doors of this university a number of years ago. Your time at Queen's has been an excellent platform for you to develop the skills you need to be future ready. Important skills such as self-belief, ambition, resilience. That resilience and your determination to, to succeed, whatever the challenges, have led you to where you are today, becoming graduates of this university. And there are skills that will stand you in good stead as you embark on this next chapter of your life. Because life doesn't always go to plan, and there will, no doubt, be more challenges ahead. But what is important is how you respond to those obstacles, the setbacks, even the failures. Failure is inevitable, setbacks will come. But it's how you face those challenges that count, and more importantly, if you choose to learn the important lessons that come from the obstacles in life. As well as life skills, you will leave, leave Queen's with a degree that will open many doors for you. It's a degree you should be proud of, and it's a degree from a global top 200 university. You are among the top graduates in the world. So take a step back and reflect on that achievement, because you, you should be very proud of what you have done. Life here at Queen's teaches us many things. One of the most beneficial is how important cooperation can be, what we can achieve when we work together as a team. And there's certainly been a strong team behind you, helping you to get where you are today. I'm thinking of those individual members of staff who've supported you throughout your degree, and of course your family and friends cheering you on from the sidelines. And while this is your day, it is also a celebration for them as we recognize their support to you. They've all played their part, so why don't we give them a well-deserved round of applause. <laughs> While graduation marks the completion of your studies, leaving university isn't the end of something, it is just the beginning. This part of your education is over, but your capacity to learn and the opportunities to do so are undiminished. So embrace those opportunities. It is cynical, it is easy to be cynical about the world today. But let me extinguish some of the flames of negativity by talking about you. Each of you have chosen to follow a path of selfless positivity by, coming, by becoming someone who is either involved in caring for the health of others or contributing to research that improves the health of others. The majority of people who graduate today will go on to help save lives in their career. I will repeat that, go on to save lives. You have chosen to dedicate yourself to helping others. You are the positivity and the beacons of light that shine brightly to remind us of the great capacity of human beings to do good for others. So don't ever lose sight of that, because society needs you now more than ever. Thank you. Will all graduates please rise? In the name and by the authority of the university, I confer on you and those whose names appear on the graduation list the degrees, diplomas, and certificates to which you are entitled and for which you are present will be individually presented by your head of school. Please be seated. Pro Chancellor, I present to you candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Biological Sciences, Sorsha Mara Donnelly, <laughs> Gavin Matthew Grant, 
Shet Shi He. Paula Louise Lagan Trigascus. Robin Alexandra McKenna. Sarah Elizabeth Pidcock. Jessica Pollock. Gonzalo Emmanuel Duarte Rosas de Silva. Erin Angharad Thomas. And for the degree of Master of Science, Advanced Food Safety, Edmund Larby Afari. <laughs> Yu Wei Chin. <laughs> Wen Tao Jiang. <laughs> Ada Liliana Madrid Sandoval. <laughs> Maria Madeleine Nicole. Anne Bernadette O'Farrell. <laughs> Sim Ray Yua. <laughs> Abduli Jalu. <laughs> Jing Tao Lu. <laughs> Bruna Teresa Makatamni. <laughs> Naranjana Ventakesh. Bing Ba Jang. <laughs> Lukesh Kamar Milisami. <laughs> and for an animal behavior and welfare, Kira Claire Carson. <laughs> Andrea Dina Cartmill. <laughs> Raven Isadora Frank. <laughs> Adam Gaston. Emer Annette Houston. <laughs> Rebecca Martha Hodson. <laughs> Matthew Connell McCloskey. <laughs> Beth McKeague. <laughs> Caroline McMenamin. <laughs> Ashleen Jean Nadunan. Jennifer Jane Ruitz. <laughs> Anna Maria Sweeney. <laughs> Megan Riley Berg. <laughs> Emmanuel Roger Marie Costa de Beauregard. <laughs> Chloe Craig. <laughs> Julie Alexandra Lane. Avin Lochran. <laughs> Katie Rebecca McDonnell. <laughs> Thomas Calvert McMurray. <laughs> Aidan O'Neill. <laughs> Tricia Sassi. <laughs> and for Business for Agri Food and Rural Enterprise, Business Communication, Amy McConnell. Sarah Margaret Jane McMillan. Christopher David Wilson. Lisa Lucy Elizabeth Burroughs. Bartley Thomas Finnegan. Claire McInerney. Andrew Richard Pentland. Kelly Marie Rice. James Scroggy. Eileen Marie Somerville. And for Business for Agri Food and Rural Enterprise Innovation Management, Orla Roisin McCorriston. Kirsty Mabel Aris McNeely. Darren McCann. <laughs> Thomas Aidan Adams. <laughs> and for Ecological Management and Conservation Biology, Patrick Lino Baticelli. 
Molly Shan Davies. Martha Rose Atkinson Fox. Craig Samuel Holmes. Saiv Maria Quinn. Katazina Zizette Kaska. Joseph Ryan Hawkins. Ji Tao Hu. Reuben Somerville Larmer. Robin Helen Mabey. Kane McCarthy. Kira Maria Mellon Kane. Lisa Claire O'Callaghan. Dakota Angel Rose Reed. Sarah Sheridan. Thomas Joseph Yardley. And for Leadership for Sustainable Development, Neve Orla Conlon. Audrey Christine Garcia. Sarah Louise Keating. Jennifer Rachel Kirkpatrick. Megan Bridget McCamley. Amy Fanula O'Hare. Emer Deirdre Rogers. Sarah Louise Florence Shields. Andres Armando Alvarez Arbolita. Jack David Anderson. Ashley Megan Cronin McCartney. Malene Huego Fredley. C. Saranya Ganavarapa. Anthony Charles McNaughton. Ryan Paul McGee. Peter William McArlane. Daniel Frederick Perry. Katie Quinn. Redeemer. Lawrence Jeffrey Nicodemus Tinkson. Joanna Rose Young. And for Molecular Biology and Biotechnology, Zachary Christopher Boswell. <laughs> Niall William jo James Boyce. <laughs> Courtney Bull. <laughs> Claudette Salang Calado. <laughs> Joshua Johnson Montgomery. Madhushmita Palai, <laughs> Usama Siddiq, <laughs> Sahil Trika, <laughs> Shane Declan Fox, <laughs> Deepa Sudisha Nakanti. <laughs> and for parasitology and pathogen biology, uh, Eilish Rose Begley. <laughs> Jordan Amber Marie Burney. <laughs> Natalie Michelle Brunel. <laughs> Caitlin Margaret Donovan. <laughs> Oliver Anthony James Furness. <laughs> Amanda Mary Garvey. Holly Megan Neil McCormick. <laughs> Unica Alexandra Pokoa. <laughs> Mary
Mansvi Manhandrabi Kathiria. Imra McCann. Laura Murphy. Chloe Louise Penny. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Technology with Professional Studies, Leanne Green. And for Biochemistry, Megan Neal. Jacob James Carmichael. And for Biochemistry with Professional Studies, Caitlin Patricia Bryson. Ashlyn Craig. Matthew James McCaffrey. And for Biological Sciences, Brian Joseph Crichton. Sarah Hockey. Lois Gemma Thompson. Keelan Kane Toole. Aisha Chowdhury Rachman. Polly June Skelton. Martin Servinka. And for environmental management, Aidan Michael Overson. And for food quality, safety, and nutrition with professional studies, Olivia Lily Faith Hamilton. Nicola Dawn Foster. And for marine biology with professional studies, Benjamin William McKibben. And for microbiology, Neve Hagen. Neve Lagan. Peter Colm Rafferty. And for microbiology with the professional studies, Shannon Rose Ray. And for the foundation degree in biological sciences, Jordana Hart. Caitlin Rutledge. Pro Chancellor, I present to you candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Nursing and Midwifery, Colette Margaret Ramsey. And for the degree of Master of Science, Advanced Professional and Clinical Practice, Critical and Acute Care, Khalida Ismail Mubarki. For advanced pract professional practice, Catherine Teresa Lockhart. <laughs> Michelle Catherine Curran. <laughs> Anne Marie Mulligan. <laughs> Marie O'Keehan. <laughs> Melanie Maureen Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Kieran Joseph McKee. And for advanced professional practice, critical and acute care, Stephen McCusker. <laughs> Hawa Hussein Muhammad. <laughs> Muhammad Hamoud Al Rashidi. Cheryl Stevenson, <laughs> Afra Ali Al Kwarzi, <laughs> Lorraine Martina McKenna, <laughs> Margaret Elizabeth McFarland, <laughs> Jenny Constance Powell. Kerry Alison Troughton. Yeah. 
and for Advanced Professional Practice, Mental Health and the Older Adult, Sophie Crooks, <laughs> Shannon Jane Copeland, <laughs> Aisha Hussein Rabi, <laughs> and for Caring for Children and Young People with Complex Needs, Entaj Halhabshi. Neve McGovern, <laughs> and for professional nursing, adult nursing, Sharon Mary Loughran, <laughs> and for professional nursing, children and young people's nursing, Natalie Jean Kildenning. <laughs> and for postgraduate diploma in respiratory nursing, Catherine McCartney. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Health Studies, Kate Johnston. <laughs> Kevin O'Neill. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Midwifery Sciences, Chloe Bradley. <laughs> Fiona Esther Ruth Brotherston. <laughs> Georgia Grace Campbell. Victoria Clyde, <laughs> Neve Laura Donaghy, <laughs> Hannah Grace Garrity, <laughs> Jane Gilberry, <laughs> June Elizabeth Graham, <laughs> Jennifer Hall. Victoria Julie Irwin, <laughs> Josephine Lamb, <laughs> Lily Maxwell, <laughs> Olivia Mary McNulty, <laughs> Rebecca McCann, <laughs> Eleanor Ruth McConnell, <laughs> Benula Mary McLaughlin. Chelsea McNeil, <laughs> Nadia McTaggart, <laughs> Michelle Elizabeth McFay, <laughs> Amanda Jean Morrow, <laughs> Kirsty Leanne Morton, <laughs> Claire Moxon. Catherine Purvis, <laughs> Rachel Rafferty, <laughs> Ella Rose Simpson, <laughs> Bethany Emma Stewart, <laughs> Kelly Victoria Trimble, <laughs> Claire Mary Tumulty. Abigail Kirsty Watson, <laughs> Dana Colette Andrews, <laughs> Ellen Clegg, <laughs> Rebecca Goss, <laughs> Natalie Henderson, <laughs> Courtney Higgins. Marianne Killen, <laughs> Carol Lawless, <laughs> Colette Layden, <laughs> Sophie Elizabeth Lockhart, <laughs> Helen Elizabeth Madden, <laughs> Jessica Louise Masters. Andrea Maxwell, <laughs> Katrina McAree, <laughs> Anna Christine McBurney, <laughs> Rachel McLenahan, 
Jordan Macdonald, Claire Macarlean, Lisa Annette Mills. Breege Morris, Jeanette Margaret Lynn Nixon, Maeve Turbot, Chloe Watson, Rebecca Lynn Wilson, Cara Keenan, Rebecca Kelly. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Midwifery Studies, Amy Phillips. <laughs> Laura Ann McComb. Chancellor, I present to you candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Pharmacy. Zina Jamal Alfal. <laughs> Lucy Pamela Margaret Faulkner. <laughs> Abru Passos. <laughs> Cormac Rice. May Asad Tayem. <laughs> Chunyang Zhang. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Philosophy, Sin Huang. <laughs> Zili Ji. <laughs> Guanhui Yang. Wenjia Zhao, <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Clinical Pharmacy Practice, Durga Devi Balasabramanian, <laughs> Fiona Ansi Jean Cleet, <laughs> David James Alexander Drennan. Dawn Allison Turpey. <laughs> and in advanced pharmacy practice with independent prescribing, Wendy Sarah Hutchinson. <laughs> Shauna Louise Nugent. <laughs> Sarah Joanne Pedlow. <laughs> Deborah Eleanor Peoples. Charlene Sonia Begley. <laughs> Danielle Brenda Devlin. <laughs> Catherine Ann Keenan. <laughs> and in clinical pharmacy, Sarah Louise Clark. <laughs> and in industrial pharmaceutics, Mohammed Masood Adami. Cynthia Chemaka Agukalam. <laughs> Mohammed Taysir Dabul. <laughs> Shrilakshmi Shekran Menon. <laughs> Burvi Santosh Joshi. Nanor Cassis. Amanda Misra. Tanvi Manoj Muta. Rachel Louise Shepherd. Hanfei Swen. And for the degree of Master of Pharmacy, 
Charmaine Cheng Chin Fu. Zara Lindsay Gillespie. Koch Brennan. Kwe E. Cheek. Matthew Ernest Philip Dines. Alexander John Gervin. T. Kit Lau. Rashendra Rose McPeak. Michael Joseph Muragasu. Govin Pushpanathan. Mia Kelly Quinn. Wen Ying Tan. Grace Yi Ting Tay. Gavin Patrick Torney. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Bethan Elder. Adriana Leguyen. Stuart Robert James Nairn. Congratulations again. You now have the proud title of Queen's Graduates. My colleagues and I have enjoyed the privilege of sharing this celebration with you. And as a university, Queen's is extremely proud of what you have achieved. And we hope you are proud of your university. And as a graduate, that you will always remain part of the Queen's community. Stay in touch with the university through our development and alumni relations office and make the most of the opportunities available to you as graduates. I wish you every success for the future, and I look forward to hearing about your achievements over coming years. And remember, here at Queen's, we will be cheering you on, celebrating your success, and looking forward to continued engagement with your university. Before we close today's ceremony, there's someone else who would like to add their congratulations. Dear students, my sincere congratulations on your graduations. For the past several years, you have been working very hard, and today is the day to celebrate. I hope you have a fantastic day, uh, surrounded by your friends and family, and all the best for the future. Good luck. Congratulations, everyone. It's great to see you all here today on your special day. You have all achieved so much over the course of your program. There have been many challenges along the way, but you have all done so well to get to this point. You have shown great resilience and we are all very proud of you. And you and your family should be very proud of your achievements. So have a fabulous day today and we really look forward to hearing about your future achievements as you progress through your careers. Hello, September 19. I'm delighted to see you've got to this point in your academic journey. I've been privileged to be your year three lead um, over the last year and I commend your ability to deal with the challenges, including COVID, over the last three years. I wish you the very best in your nursing careers and journeys and hope to see you back soon in Queen's. It's a privilege to have this opportunity to share in your happiness today, as each and every one of you embrace and deserve a very fulfilling and future career ahead of you. Very well done. September 19th. I remember well welcoming you on your first day and my goodness, what a three years you have had. And here we are at graduation. Many, many congratulations. I wish you well in your future careers. It has been an absolute pleasure. Every good wish to you all. 
Hello, September 19, and massive congratulations to you all. Um, this is a great day. Um, you have all worked so hard, and I'm sure you never thought that this day would come. Enjoy this afternoon and this evening with your family and friends, and best of luck as you step out into your nursing career. All the best, everyone. You've been a joy to teach. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, September 19. Here we are in your graduation day. Just thinking back to your very first day when we took your photograph with Alinda and Susan appearing in it twice, do you remember? And I said to you that it would go in a flash and didn't it? And I said you'd make friends for life and haven't you? And then I said just when we'd get to know each other well, um, you would disappear off online into a pandemic. Well, I didn't predict that one, but there we go. I always remember each intake for something and I will remember you for the folk that so patiently helped me gain my NVQ in IT skills, telling me to mute and unmute. Thank you for that. Also for the best dancing I have ever seen in an endocrine lecture, well done. But finally, as the cohort that courageously went out and continued out on placement through the pandemic. Enjoy your special day. You've already shown your commitment and courageousness in this profession. So continue being fabulous and enjoy your special day. Well done. To our food safety, quality and nutrition students, well done for your success. Wherever you're gonna work, in the industry, everywhere, just keep in touch. Food, is there anything else more important? No. Well done, guys. As Chancellor of Queen's University, I would like to offer my sincere congratulations to all of our graduating students. You know, graduation is a significant milestone in every student's career. And today is an opportunity for the university to formally recognize your hard work and congratulate you on your success. Your graduation is even more special as the circumstances in which you've completed your studies has made your achievements simply remarkable. I know the journey has not been easy, but you've demonstrated incredible resilience, agility, and determination in adapting to new circumstances to achieve your goals. You're graduating at a time of major challenges and change across the world. But it's also, I believe, a time of great opportunity and potential. So class of 2022, please use your knowledge, your skills, your talents to help us shape a better world. Our society needs people like each of you, creative, critically good at thinking and doing, problem solvers who can make real differences in transforming lives and societies. So as you close this important chapter in your life and begin a new one, I wish you the very, very best as you go out into that world that awaits. Please be a force for positive change and always be proud of the fact that you are a Queens graduate because Queens is certainly proud of you as are your parents, families, and friends celebrating with you today. Congratulations again, and best wishes for every success in the future. I declare closed this congregation for the conferment of degrees and presentations of diplomas and certificates, and invite our new graduates and recipients to join the academic pro procession as it leaves the hall. Parents and friends should wait until the procession has left. Queen's Alumni Office was established to ensure that the relationship between graduates and alma mater becomes lifelong. Many people will have forged lasting personal and professional friendships while at Queen's and the ongoing alumni outreach programme aims to keep Queen's men and Queen's women 
in touch with the university and, of course, with each other. In time, alumni will make return visits to Queen's for reunions, public lectures, social and academic events, and perhaps further study. It's particularly important to stay in contact if careers are pursued overseas, and for this reason, Queen's now has a number of graduate organisations based both here in Northern Ireland and throughout the world in Canada, America, the Far East, Africa and Northern Europe. So, graduation should not mark the end of your association with Queen's. Through the alumni office, those friends, contacts and memories can last a lifetime.